Hey, how's it going guys? So today, I wanted to go over the new banner that we just got. Um, I had some things going on this weekend, so I wasn't able to make a banner review like I wanted to. And we got a new banner called Guardians of Peace. At first, I was looking at the heroes and I didn't see anything super special about them. Um, but I did see that a lot of them had skills that seemed like they could be good as fodder on other units, like uh, this Rouse Defense and Res 3. But upon looking at it, I was really interested in the Bow Archer uh, with Ingrin. But she was a Red Bow Archer, so I figured eh, she might not be as good because she is a Colored Archer and, you know, Colorless Archers are a lot better. But I went to Free Summon and I didn't get any reds, I only got blues, so I tried for Percival. And when I didn't get him, I went back in for just at least to get one red, just to just to have a chance of trying to get her. Well, to my disbelief, I got her with plus attack. And so then I spent another 60 orbs to get a plus one to get rid of my minus defense, so I could have a plus one Ingrin. And little did I know that on my defensive team, as it is right now, uh, just to show you what it looks like here, this is what my defense team that I had shown before was with the infantry pulse. And so basically, I'm only going to show you the first turn here just to show you what happens. Well, in a second. So as you can see, my Kagero and my Alm get their specials instantly. But unfortunately, Lucina does not. She's left with a 1. Which, in some cases, actually makes a difference, especially when you're fighting an Ike. Because that first hit is reduced by 40%, and then the second hit onwards is reduced by 80. So if I'm hitting a Luna on the second hit, it's not really going to do as much. Now, of course, it's not going to kill Ike in the first place. But what was interesting, and what I realized, was Ingrin is actually perfect for this team because her weapon has a minus one cooldown, meaning she has turn one Luna. And not only that, she's actually red, which is the one color I was missing from my team, because now my team covers all colors. And as you'll be able to see here, she does crazy amounts of damage. So before we go into this, just to show you what she's got here, her Guardian's Bow says if she has one more speed than the opponent, then she drops their attack, speed, and defense minus five during combat. Meaning, she technically has five more attack. Now mine has 64, but so my how my team works is Kagero will use Rally Up Attack plus, and that'll actually give Ingrin 70 attack when she's not getting it minus, of course. And then with Guardian's Bow, that's 75 plus also having an instant Luna at the very beginning. And if that wasn't enough, her special spiral makes it to where she always has a Luna the whole game. And it'll show I'll show you it off right here. So Kagero's going to rally up attack, get danced, get plus five to all, all stats, and she's going to take out this Idun. Or Athun. And then you'll see Ike reposition her back out of danger's way. And you'll see Ingrin go in. And look at that crazy damage. Against a blue flyer, which of course she can just, just destroy any flyer, but... Basically she does so much damage that the color triangle doesn't really matter unless it's a huge blue tanking unit, but then my Kagero and my Alm and my Ike will be able to take out any blue tank units. Not sure why Ike didn't reposition there. That was a little strange, but he does reposition here in a second. He keeps retreating because I assume that he knows that if he kills one of my units, that another unit will easily take its place and take him out. He does reposition there, which was nice. That got her a little out of harm's way. This guy was not happy about Kagero, so he immediately goes after Kagero.
takes her out. Moves in with his other units. Repositions her back. And then Ingrin does a crazy amount of damage again with an instant Luna. And then immediately recharges it. And then Ike goes in to take out Lin. And then my dancers get Alm in the battle. Now here's what I don't understand. So right now, he has four, four ladders. And yet, he decides to attack Alm and lose the match. Which, I'm not really sure why people do that. Instead of just like retreating and not taking the loss. If you guys know why, maybe put it in the comments, but I'm not really sure why exactly people do this, but... Anyway, he goes to attack Alm, but Alm has those bonus stats from that dance from Azura. So... Anyway, I wanted to showcase this because this is my new defense team with her on it. And I really think that she's going to be a great asset to this team in the long run. Now, I don't know if I really need more merges on her. I think plus one is fine. She does exactly what I need her to do. And I did spend about 60 orbs to get the second uh, copy of her. And I also did spend 20,000 feathers to get that infantry pulse three. So I think she'll be a great asset to this team in the long run. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know if you know any strategies that could beat this team. I w I'm really interested to see how my defense results continue with the rest of this season and see how people uh, react to this team. And I'm looking forward to seeing what it does in the future. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye.